I've always wondered what if parenting could be automated? Not just laundry and school pickups, but the deep emotional connection, the support, the guidance. Sounds impossible, right? Well, not anymore. This is the story of the world's first artificial parent program something. Scientists are calling the artificial parent. It's not a robot nanny. It's not just a smart assistant. It's a full-scale AI designed to take on the role of a parent, comforting a crying child, teaching empathy, making decisions a real mom or dad would have to make every single day. But why did we even need something like this? The truth is, modern life is changing faster than most families can keep up. People are working longer hours, raising kids alone, struggling with mental health. And technology? It's not just in our pockets anymore, it's in our homes, our routines, even our emotions. Some believe AI might help fill in the gaps. Others think we've already gone too far. But one thing's clear, the idea of parenting is evolving, and this might be just the beginning. The story of the artificial parent program didn't begin with a breakthrough, it began with a question. What happens when traditional parenting structures start to fail and no one is there to step in? It started quietly. A group of researchers spread across disciplines came together with a shared concern. Children growing up without stable support and parents overwhelmed by a world that moves too fast. They weren't building a machine, they were trying to build stability. Early experiments were far from perfect. The first versions of the system struggled with even the most basic tasks, recognizing a child's needs, reacting with empathy, adapting to unpredictable behavior. But with every update, it got closer. It learned. It began to respond like something more than code. The inspiration wasn't just technical curiosity. It came from social reality single-parent households, economic pressures, the rising demand for emotional labor in homes that couldn't stretch any further. This was never one person's project. It was a collaboration engineers, child psychologists, behavioral scientists all working toward a single controversial goal. Could we teach a machine to care? That question became the foundation of the first artificial parent, not a replacement for love, but a system designed to simulate it consistently, reliably, and without burning out. So what exactly does an artificial parent do? It's more than just feeding schedules or bedtime stories. At its core, the system is designed to observe, interpret, and respond almost like a real caregiver. It recognizes facial expressions, tone of voice, even subtle shifts in behavior. When a child is upset, it knows. When they're proud, it celebrates. When they're silent, it listens. The AI doesn't just react, it adapts. It builds emotional profiles over time, learning how each child responds to stress, encouragement, or routine. It customizes its parenting style moment by moment, adjusting tone, posture, even eye contact to match the child's emotional state. It helps with education, to answering questions, guiding homework, reinforcing values like empathy and patience. And it never loses patience. It doesn't get tired or distracted or overwhelmed. But perhaps the most controversial function is its ability to simulate affection. It speaks with warmth. It offers reassurance. It gives hugsies, physical interaction, through synthetic limbs designed to mimic human touch. Whether that's comforting or unsettling, depends on who you ask. But one thing's clear, this system isn't just teaching kids facts, it's teaching them how to feel safe, how to communicate, and how to connect with something that isn't even human. When we talk about an artificial parent, the conversation quickly moves beyond its effectiveness and into the realm of society, children, and the very concept of parenting itself. Can this program truly replace a human? And perhaps more importantly, should we even try to replace parents? After all, no matter how advanced the technology, it can never fully replicate human emotions, intuition, and that irreplaceable bond created through real-life parenting. But what if this technology could address the flaws in traditional family structures? Could AI improve the quality of life for multi-child households or assist children growing up under constant stress? Or, on the other hand, might it create new social divides, separating children from real human connections and diminishing their ability to empathize? This brings us to a complex ethical dilemma. How far are we willing to go in the pursuit of improving life through technology? And what happens if, one day, 
we find ourselves in a world where artificial parents are the norm. The questions of moral responsibility and control are more pressing than ever. Who will be held accountable for the mistakes of AI, for the moments when the system fails to understand or properly respond to a child's needs? And what lasting impact will this artificial parental figure have on the psychological development of children growing up in a world where feelings can be simulated but not truly experienced? Behind the concept of an artificial parent lies a complex web of technology. It's not just about programming a machine to answer questions or give instructions. It's about creating a system that can think, learn, and adapt in real time. The heart of this system is artificial intelligence and more specifically machine learning. It's not status it evolves. In the early stages, AI was fed enormous amounts of data, conversations, human reactions, emotional responses. The goal wasn't just to program it to mimic a parent's behavior, but to teach it to recognize the emotional nuances of children, their joys, their fears, their uncertainties. The algorithms used are sophisticated, constantly analyzing and adjusting to the child's responses. Through this process, the AI learns, refines, and adapts its approach. Whether it's comforting a crying child or guiding them through a difficult lesson, the system adjusts its tone, its words, even its movements to ensure the right response. At the core of all this is neural networks machines designed to mimic the way our brains work. Through deep learning, these networks enable the system to understand and predict human behavior. It learns not just from data, but from its interactions, continually improving its ability to respond in a way that feels human. It's a delicate balance creating a machine that doesn't just follow commands but understands them. And in that understanding, it starts to resemble something more than just technology. It starts to resemble a parent. As we look to the future of the artificial parent program, the question isn't just about what it can do to date, it's about what it will be capable of tomorrow. The technology is still evolving and so too is the idea of what it means to parent in the digital age. As AI continues to learn, its ability to understand and meet the needs of children will only grow. Soon, these systems may become more intuitive, capable of predicting emotional shifts before they happen, offering guidance even before a child is aware they need it. One potential future is the integration of virtual reality, where the artificial parent could not only guide, but also engage in immersive experiences. Imagine a parent that doesn't just talk to a child, but takes them on educational journeys, walks them through historical events, or even explores abstract concepts in ways no human could. The possibilities are endless. And then there's the emotional side. As AI improves, it will become more adept at creating emotional bonds, offering a sense of security that's tailored specifically to each child's needs. But the question remains, can it ever truly replicate the complexities of human love? Can it teach empathy in a way that's as profound as a real relationship? The future also raises societal challenges. As artificial parents become more integrated into our lives, we must ask, will this make parenting easier or will it undermine our natural instincts? How will these systems impact the family dynamic? And what happens when AI is more present than human caregivers? What's clear is that we are standing on the edge of a profound transformation. The role of the artificial parent is evolving, and it's shaping up to be more than just a tool it's becoming a key player in the next chapter of human development. As we move toward a future where artificial parents may become a reality, we are forced to question not only what technology can do, but what it should do. The answers won't be simple, but the conversation is one we all need to be a part of. If you found this exploration into the future of parenting thought-provoking, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more insights, updates, and deep dives into the world of technology, ethics, and society. Together, we can navigate the complexities of tomorrow, today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because the future is just beginning, and it's something we all need to understand.